Welcome to Hero Machines, where timeless ingenuity meets down-to-earth solutions. If you've ever split a winter's worth of firewood by hand, you know the labor, the rhythm, and the satisfaction that comes with it. But what if that work could be done smarter, faster, and still give you the satisfaction of doing it yourself? Today, we're diving into two clever log splitters built with kinetic power and simple engineering, designed for people who know how to make tools work for them, not the other way around. There's something to be said for machines that don't rely on complicated electronics or endless hydraulics. What you'll see here is raw, mechanical power applied the old-fashioned way, but with modern efficiency. These kinetic log splitters use a spinning flywheel to store energy, then release it in a quick punch, sending the wedge straight through even stubborn hardwood. No waiting for hydraulic cycles. No mess. Just speed, impact, and results. Every piece of these machines has been built with purpose. You can see the steel, the welding lines, the balance of moving parts, all working in sync. This is the kind of equipment born in a home workshop, guided by experience, and built to last. One splitter runs off a vintage single-cylinder engine, a true throwback to the golden age of practical machinery. You don't need a computer chip to split wood. Just the right gear, a bit of muscle, and mechanical know-how. So how does kinetic splitting compare to other methods? With hydraulics, you get pressure, but you wait for it to build. With axes, you get control, but not consistency. But with kinetic force, you get speed and impact. When the flywheel spins up, it holds potential energy like a coiled spring. One fast lever pull releases that energy in a fraction of a second, splitting even knotted logs clean in two. It's fast, reliable, and surprisingly satisfying to watch. For those of us who've split wood the traditional way for decades, these machines offer something special. They preserve the hands-on nature of the work, but they reduce the strain on your body. You don't have to swing an ax 200 times a day to stay warm in the winter. Just let the flywheel do the heavy lifting while you keep control over the process. It's the perfect middle ground between old school effort and smart design. Now, take a look at that old engine chugging along, steady as ever. There's a kind of magic in hearing a Lister-style engine at work, slow, deep puffs of power turning into raw momentum. This isn't about speed, it's about force. You're watching a piece of history bring wood to heel, one log at a time. 
It's efficient, yes, but it's also a tribute to the craftsmanship of a bygone era, still running strong today. These builds didn't come from a catalog. They came from years of tinkering, testing, and learning. If you've got a welder in the shop, a few gears, a motor, and the will to build, there's no reason you can't make something similar. And if you don't want to build your own, just understanding how these machines work gives you new insight into how to split wood more effectively, whether by machine or by hand. Kinetic force isn't just for factories, it's for firewood too. Of course, every tool needs respect. These machines strike fast and hard. The key is rhythm. Keep your hands clear. Feed the log steady. With a little practice, you find your groove, log in, pull lever, reset. It becomes a kind of dance, and by the end of the stack, you've got a full bin of firewood, and your back's still feeling good. That's the power of smart engineering, guided by decades of working with your hands. There's a beauty in blending tradition with innovation. These kinetic log splitters don't just save time, they honor the spirit of self-reliance that built this country. Whether you're splitting for heat, for habit, or just for the joy of the process, remember, sometimes the best tools are the ones you build, or at least understand yourself. Thanks for watching Hero Machines, where practical minds and powerful machines meet.